and from this uh, from these words from this words of uh, the quran and from these uh, words of these ahadith that they are the seven verses we understand another thing that surah fatiha has seven verses then according to this it means that surah fatiha has seven verses now, if you start counting the verses from Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen till Dualeen, there would be six verses. So it means what? It implies that Bismillah Rahman Rahim is an essential part of Surah Fatiha, and this is included as a verse of Surah Fatiha. So why am I mentioning this? Is that when we recite Surah Fatiha in our Salah, we need to recite Bismillah rahman rahim before it. Because if Surah Fatiha is recited without Bismillah, then Surah Fatiha will not be complete. Because as I've just said, Bismillah rahman rahim is an essential and integral part of Surah Fatiha. And if Bismillah is not recited, then recitation of Surah Fatiha will not be complete. And if Surah Fatiha is not complete, then as we just heard the words of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, La Salata Illa Bi Fatiha, that the Salah will not be complete. So we need to recite Bismillah Rahman Rahim before Surah Fatiha. But now many of you uh, might tend to disagree with me and you may say that in the mosque when we offer our prayers, the Imam, We've never heard the Imam recite Bismillah. And even the Imam Haram, he doesn't even start with the Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So, how do we relate this? You know, we learn from a hadith in Bukhari that Prophet Wasallam's manner was that when he used to uh, recite Surah Fatiha, he used to recite Bismillah Rahman Rahim in his heart. And then he used to start with the recitation of Surah Fatiha loud from Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So all the Imams who are leading the Salah, they follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and so, uh, the Bismillah Rahman Rahim, the Tasmiyah is recited in heart and it is not recited loudly. And the recitation of Surah Fatiha in a loud voice is started from Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. 